Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello to everyone, Narlo. Good boy. When we last left off, we had finished up chapter 6 of book 2 of volume 2. And we had been traveling around and looking for the, the legendary, well, you can't even say legendary, the non-legendary Mithril Axe called Ziggle Burke. You can't even say it was legendary because the dwarves have never heard of it before we came in here. If you remember that, that uh, first uh, missing page that we found, the one that we found in like the Chamber of Knowledge or Chamber of Wisdom, the one where the guy was was cursing it and, and talking about how unfair it was that he he could be just as good a smith as the other guy if he was given those opportunities and 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 was cursing that he hoped that uh, hoped that his name was forgotten and all that and it's like oh my god that's the first time that a curse has come that well true isn't it because they've totally forgotten about the forge of fire they've totally forgotten about the uh, the mithril axe so uh, that curse has worked out very very well but we believe after collecting those maps that we have found Bosi thinks that he has found where the location of the heart of fire secret forges are and that is the next step in the quest here I have need of your great skill Chapter 7, The Empty Passage. Are you ready, Narlo? If my guess is near the mark, we will soon find the Heart of Fire, and I will set the dwarves of my company to its mighty forges. And perhaps Ziggleberg itself still remains within. Imagine, an axe made entirely of mithril. What a wonder. Alright, this is a solo quest, so we will go ahead and take it on. The Heart of Fire, the great forging room where Durin's axe was birthed, was lost in ages past. But the discovery of the Way of Smiths would bring fresh hope to those who seek to reclaim the glory of Khazad Doom. All right, we got a door behind us that leads back to it looks the Silvertine Loads. So where the door leads, so we're definitely in the right place. And here is the long passage that seems to have been hidden. Let's go up here and talk to Bozy and see what we find ahead of us. I hope this adventure will not be in vain. To find the legendary forges of Narkaleb would work wonders on the hopes and efforts of my people. The chance that the Mithril Axe Ziggleberk might lie within, I cannot describe what a boon that would be. Let us proceed, my friend. We are nearing the wall that might very well be hiding the door we seek. Do you hear that, vile Grebig? Yeah, I seem to be able to kill them by myself faster than this. Stay alert, Narlo. There may be more of them. Why, yes. Yes, there are. At least this is one of those things where it, it didn't say I have to keep Bozy alive, so uh, perhaps it doesn't truly count as a uh, escort mission. Doesn't say I can. Didn't say that I couldn't complete it by letting him die. Well fought, my friend. Wouldn't that be a wonder as well, along with the wonder of a uh, of a curse that actually makes the person that's cursed be forgotten. have the situation of an escort mission that you could actually win with a person dying. I hope there's more to find here than just Grebig. This is the place, Narlo. What do you think? Alright, so let's talk to Bozy. If the Heart of Fire actually exists, I believe it must be behind this wall. 
What were the secret means of opening it that you recovered from Katub Zahar, Narlo? What, you're not going to call it the Word Horde of Durin? Ah, yes, the great blacksmith only desired not to be disturbed, not even by Durin himself, unless by ceremonial gestures of acknowledgement worthy of his station. You should hail or congratulate or salute him, Narlo. I hope that we have read the clues aright. All right, so let us... Go ahead, Narlo. Hail or congratulate or salute the memory of Ongli. All right, well, let's... Hail. <laughs> well, will you look at that? We were right after all, Narlo, as silver runes grow light brightly on the walls of the tunnel. Bab Kanon's a hoop. We have done it. We have found Nar Kaleb, the heart of fire. How incredible that this place should lie forgotten for so long. Behold the mighty forges of Nar Kaleb. Quickly, my friend, search the three forges for signs of Ziggleberk, the mithril axe. Okay. We will go search the forges on the left. can tell that you're well uh, suited for being a supervisor of this expedition. There's no sign of Ziggleberg by these forges. Alright, search the forges on the right. Vaguely, vaguely reminds me of the... Oh, I can't remember. It's so long ago. I think the last time I was in WoW was... God, it was before Cataclysm, but remember the, the City of the Dwarves that that had the big uh, forge in the middle of it. That was a giant lava pit with the, the fountains of lava pouring from the ceiling. There's no sign of Ziggleberk by these forges. Search the forges in the center. There's no sign of Ziggleberk by these forges. Go back and talk to Bozy. Alright, up the flights of stairs again. It seems to have been a little too easy so far. Now I'm thinking that is all you have to do? Just fight your way through some Grebic? Ah, there we go. Protect Bozy. You knew eventually we'd have one of these where. Gotta make sure the idiot doesn't die. You did not find Ziggleberg, Narlo. No, do not apologize. I should not have let my hopes rise so. It has surely been many hundreds of years since the axe beheld the heat of these forges. Let us return to the Chamber of Crossroads and tell my people that the Heart of Fire has been found. Oh. Mine Overseer. Folek guessed that foolish outsliders would lead him to the secret room. Goblins! Attack! Yes, boss! Right away! You can take on these guys all well enough. Folek's servants. Folek, I'm not sure who you are, but you are going down, my friend. an eye on Bozy and he's doing what the hell and of course with it going out to windows I decided that it was going to it decided that it was going to to do a Windows update and it says, Are you sure this is a good time? We're about to start it. As it takes me out and it kills the recording down here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Uh, hopefully all we lost was the, the last part of the battle with the two things and then, uh, then the Overseer jumped in. Uh, mine Overseer Follick jumped in. He said, Must I do everything myself? Die! 
So we defeated him, and Bozy says, Victory! Thanks to you, the secret of the Heart of Fire will not be stolen by goblins. Are you ready to return and tell the dwarves of my company of our discovery? Now, I am going to go out here right quick and make sure that that is turned off and not going to update my computer. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay. We are back. We were able to jump out there and reschedule it. It was going to start the Windows update in about 10 minutes. So I'm glad we shut that down and rescheduled it for a couple hours from now. So I was like, whoa, oh, what a wonderfully inconvenient time for Windows to want to update itself. Anyway, that is all we lost. I looked at the videos. All we lost was the, the end of the fight against the two goblins there. We took them down quickly enough, and then the overseer ran in. And he was just a slightly bigger goblin. He looked alike like that goblin chief, uh, Gamthrak, or whatever his name was, that we fought in the last episode. He looked a lot like him. Probably much the same model, just with slightly different armor. And uh, we killed him, and that was the end of it. We have defeated the Heart of Fire. And you saw that the uh, saw what Bozy had to say. And he says, Thank you for your help with the goblins and with the Grebig before them. Let us now return to the Chamber of the Crossroads to tell of our victory and that the Heart of Fire has been unsealed. The dwarves have found the Heart of Fire, the greatest of their lost forges. Though Ziegelberg, the legendary Mithril Ox, was not found there, the discovery of the forges was itself a great victory. Enheartened by the victory, Broger and his following have moved on to establish a command in the 21st Hall. All right, fantastic. I am going to go sell the yard trash stuff here, and then we will talk to Bozy once more. So we will see you in just a couple of minutes here. Would that we could procure a trophy from Durin's Bane. All right, we are back and ready to talk to Mr. Bozy here. The biggest part of the uh, time that I spent out, oh, I never realized that his his uh, buckles on his, looks like his braces there, are uh, little dwarf heads. Very cool. Biggest part of it was taking a look and seeing how much time had passed on our recording. So we are still good for time at the moment. All right, let's talk to Mr. The heart Bussy. of fire is ours again, thanks to you. Chapter 7, The Empty Passage. You fought bravely and well, Narlo, as I have come to expect, but more important is this. The secret forges of the Heart of Fire are now at the service of my people. It is a shame that we did not find Ziggelberk itself within the Heart of Fire, but I was wrong to expect it. Only rarely do weapons remain at the place of their making, for is it not their purpose to go forth into the world and find glory on the battlefield? Even so, this remains a great victory for my expedition. If you had the proficiency, the forges of Nar Kaleb are, of course, at your service. Awesome. All right, increase reputation with the miners, legendary item experience. Get a set of rusted dwarf tools. We actually have not had any of these yet. We'll use these back at the Dolven View, or I'm sure over at the... Uh... No, it says you can use them at the Dolven View. You can use them at the uh... Egladil on the banks of the Anduin. And doing, you can use them at the Prancing Pony or the, there we go, the 21st Hall. And you trade these in for more uh, legendary weapons. And we get to choose one of these. Now, once again, these were the big fancy stuff, the high level stuff, just like the helmet, the Watcher in the Water. Back before uh, you had the Mithril, before you had the, the Matham Hunter's armor. Madam Hunter's armor. These were the big mithril. Uh, these were the high-end blue items that you could get in here. Let's see what we have. We can wear those. We can wear... Cannot wear those. We can wear those. Or we can wear those. Alright, these give vitality, will, and fate. Our Matham Hunter's boots are actually better than those. These are equal on the armor. They give agility. They give vitality. In combat power regen. Crowd control duration. And out of combat run speed. 
those are quite nice. And they considered actually to be the same, uh, the same worth according to the game as the Matham Hunter's boots. All right, so those are a a uh, possibility. And then the Surveyor, 292 armor, might, agility, vitality, max power, crowd control duration, and out of combat run speed. We're going to hang on to these. We are going to get the Explorer here. Got the nice evade rating, the agility, the vitality. Less agility, but uh, same vitality. We're going to go with those, and we'll decide a little bit later. My cousin and some other dwarves have gone on to the 21st Hall. If they might be a, a good replacement. All right, we haven't, we haven't leveled to the point where we need reforging yet. Chapter 8, the 21st Hall. We have had great successes here in Moria already, Narlo, and Broger has gone eastward with many of our people seeking the 21st Hall in the Royal Houses of Durin. I am worried by his haste. Yes, we have achieved a great victory with the discovery of the Heart of Fire, but I fear that Broger will advance too far and get in over his head. Travel to the Chamber of Leadership off the 21st Hall in Zelamelech and warn my cousin against this move. We'll certainly do that. This is the kind of stuff, this is why you keep seeing these people behind the things like the Chamber of Command. And, uh, it, what is the other one? The Chamber of Muster? Is that the name of it? Chamber of Leadership. Is because they move on through the thing. They don't want you being here and talking to Broger and then walk, you know, halfway across Moria and run into Broger again. So, that's why they put them behind these locked doors. If we tried to go up to the chamber of command up there now I'll guarantee you we would not be able to get inside it'll say something about ah no corresponding quest there we go using that has no effect I knew I remembered that correctly so there you are okay well it is time for us to head to the 21st hall then and talk to Broger and maybe finish up book two here. How about that? Let's mount up. We are going to head back out here. And instead of turning to the right and going over toward the Dolvin view and all, we are actually going to go this way. Now, like I said, this is another situation where they have, uh, as he says, removed... Whoops. There we go. Elder Mori Rider, I didn't see you hiding over there. Let's take your butt out. Love the Warg Riders here. I was gonna say it was a situation where they have uh, made it so that they've moved the mobs off of the, uh, out of the main path. And I'm assuming you probably wouldn't have had to fight him if you'd gone around this side here. Because I remember in the past there would be three or four dark claws, three or four dark claws, and uh, and goblins and all around this area. Okay, you see our this right here is the place where the three roads split, and why they went and 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 why the fellowship went and took refuge inside of the uh, the the guard chamber over there in the first place because they got here and. And Gandalf said he was too weary to decide and had no memory of this place. And afterwards he said that there was bad air, bad air down the passage that goes down. And the passage that goes straight, he said there was a, had a bad feeling about it. So he said they take the passage that went up because it was time that they started climbing again. Boy, you respond in a hurry, don't you? That's all right. We can kill you in a hurry, too. And then we will get on moving on over to the 21st Hall. There. Yeah. Okay. Let's mount up here. And let's get our travel on. This is definitely going to be a travel log. As we are going to travel on up this way. I'm going to take a quick look at what have we gotten deeds? Yes, we did. Legendary item leveled up and another deed bestowed. Defeat wargs in Moria. So we're working on warg slayer now. 
All right, we are gonna travel on up this way since this is part of the path of the fellowship. They turned right there and continued on up this way. And other than the stuff like deep crickets, and I think the occasional like deep rat, this is actually, unless they've changed it, a very safe uh, passage to get into the 21st hall. At least every time I've ever been down it, there have never been any mobs. And with them cleaning up Moria and making it a little easier for people to go through, I can't imagine them throwing mobs in here. We will shortly come across Jundubab. We will shortly come across an area. I'm going to pull up my deeds here right quick. Let us make sure that we do not have... I see. Doors, footsteps of the fellowship. Oh, Durden's threshold, the chamber of the crossroads. We'll have one when we get to the 21st hall. So let's remember that. Um, lower deeps. The great delving. We found six of those. We found three of the silver teens. Western Durin's Way. Um, don't see anything there either. Okay. I think the only thing we're going to have to do is whenever we get to the 21st Hall. That'll be the first one of these named areas, I think, that pops up on our map. There might be one more right before it. My dwarf has also gone fishing in that little lake there many a many a time. That little puddle of water. You'd be surprised what you can pull out of there, too. But we are following in the foots of the footsteps of the fellowship here. And we are about to get to a place that he has spent many a many a many an hour. Once again, back in the days before Hobbit Presence and you had money raining out of the sky, I wasn't a raider. I didn't get on and do a bunch of raiding and stuff like that. So when I made money, it was to do Hadubab. When I did went to get money, it was to go in these two instances. We have Mekel, Mekeb Fahan and Mekeb Fahan. You've got two doors that go into a library. There are two different instances here. And you get the quest from these guys. Each one has got three quests, bookends, and there's once you accept this one, there's two other quests that you can do as well on the inside. And you can barter items for them. More. You know, you get these uh, they give you iron garrison resource tokens, and that one gives you I think Iron Miner resource tokens, I'm not sure. But you get things out of the chest and you get things from them. I've showed it once before. I was on my dwarf, I was on Glenoran and was running through here. And I'll put the name of the, the number of the episode or the name of the episode and all right here. So if you want to go in there, if you want to see what it's like, you can take a look at it. We may go in there sometime, but for the moment, and we've got an elf over here. The first elf we've seen. A reputation trader from the Galadrum. From Lothlorien. He actually has traveled into the mines with the dwarves here. And you can also take the items and all that you get in there and trade them with him to get reputation items with the uh, Lothlorien May I help faction. You? you can trade the garrison tokens for gold leafs. And I've got a bazillion of those as well. So... We will continue on. We're getting very close now. Once you get there, that's about two-thirds of the way down this passage on your way to the... It's another pool I have fished in many times. About two-thirds of the way down the passage to the 21st Hall. The 21st Hall is the one that you remember in the movie. 
where they walk into a big place and Gandalf says, let us have a little light on this subject. And he lights up the end of his wand in a flash and you see the big room with all the columns in it. And that's what we have here. That's going to be the 21st hall. Say, I thought there was a name. Here we go. Zigglenob. I think that's on one of the lists as well. On the deed list. I'll have to look it up here in a little bit and see whether or not it is. There we go. And the thing about the 21st hall is it had windows way up on the east side that would let light shine down into the room. 21st hall, the west arch. There you go, like I said, a big room with all those carven pillars. Not quite as, uh, not quite as huge or ridiculously, uh, shall we say, Oh, uh, near infinite as it was in the movie where it just seemed to stretch on forever. But still, a mighty impressive room. And another place that was more, uh, kind of more impressive whenever they darkened it up. And you couldn't see the walls off to either side, you know. Now that they've lightened it and brightened it, and you can see, uh, even see the ceiling and everything, it's, uh... Not quite as vast and mysterious looking. Okay, we are going to travel on to the 21st hall here. There should be a stable master right up here on our left. The 21st hall. The 21st hall is among the largest in all of Khazad-dûm and often regarded as the most famous. In times long past, a great market stood here where the dwarves of Moria and travelers from abroad would trade in fine goods from across much of Middle-earth. Fine woods and wine and foodstuffs would be exchanged for gold and priceless gems and finely wrought pieces of smithcraft. In truth, nearly anything at all could be bought or sold within this very hall, though it is hard to imagine it to look upon it now. We will throw this hall into our to be our panoramic view. New deed, Zelim Melek, the 21st hall. Here's the stable master. May Durin return soon to his halls. We've got passages back to the chamber of crossroads and to the Dolven view. Wow, and they've even noted Dol Amroth. Eventually, we can even take this down to to uh, Gondor. But as you see there, the problem I was having, why it took me a two and a half hour ride on a horse, minimum level 90. So we've got a ways to go. 30, 31 levels on Narlo here before we can take uh, horse rides down to uh, Gondor. Here's the milestone. There are vendors everywhere. And the other places that you need to know about are right around here. This right here is the uh, bank vault with the bankers inside of it. This one right over here is the crafting hall and uh, if I remember right, yeah, the crafting hall, the rune, the relic and uh, relic master and forge master inside there as well. And right over here is the auction house, the auction hall. So those are the other three areas to know about here. But first, we are gonna go, let's see, Legendary Warden Trainer, Hunter Trader. Where is the Legendary Burglar? There we go, Legendary Burglar Trader. What do you need? Let us go here. Do we need to... Actually, oh, we've already gotten the burglar's tools. That's right. They were they weren't part of the the vendor trip. Uh, they weren't part of that. They were part of this. So as you see, we've got burglar's tools. Uh, I'm sorry, rusted dwarf tools. Bring this to the traders, and can be exchanged for an unidentified legendary weapon or item. So what we'll do, we'll trade these in, and we can get two tools and a sword or a mace. You know, we'll be able to get weapons and be able to get um, a set of tools as well. 
and he also does the tools of the first age that you get for the emblems of Nimrodel. They've got the bronze relics where you get these and take them and you can split them apart by Relic Master and get more relics like the runes and the symbols and all. And okay, there we go. Kuzdul tablets. We must have got those from a mob drop, did we? We had to have some time because I don't remember anyone awarding us tablets. Okay, so back to the milestone. Plenty of quests around in this area. But right over here is what we're looking for. This area right over here is the Chamber of Leadership. So we will go on in. And just like you saw over at Chamber of Command, if, if you weren't to the point where Broger and Bori would be in here, you wouldn't be able to enter this room. Let's take a look around it right quick. Yet another very, very impressive room. Broger, I am supposed to talk to you about your journeys. This needs doing. Chapter 8, the 21st Hall. Welcome to the Chamber of Leadership, Narlo. From here, I will lead my people to even greater glory in Moria. I can hardly believe that we are here. This is a joyous day for the dwarves. Here we go, Book 3, Chapter 1. An overzealous explorer. The time of the dwarves is truly at hand, Narlo. How ludicrous we were to fear that some curse might lie on Moria after all these years. Had we returned before now, Moria might be thriving already. What's done is done. We are here now, and many of the dwarves of our expedition have ventured forth into deep tunnels, seeking great riches that must surely lie untouched within the caves of Moria. If you come across Roker or Uthrig during their explorations of Zelen Melek, be sure to lend them any assistance they may require. They set out through the southern passage from the 21st Hall, but where they went from there I do not know. So we are to find Roker and Uhtrig and lend them their our aid. And that is we were in this day's mission there. See that we have probably greatly passed the 30-minute uh, mark. But I did want to get to book three here, so we will call that an episode. Thank you all for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you all have enjoyed our, our explorations and our discovery of the Heart of Fire. And we will see y'all next time, as I should get another one up um, tomorrow, either late this evening or early tomorrow. So we will see how it goes. Thank y'all for coming along, and we will see you then. Bye-bye.